Good Wednesday morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. It is August 16th, 2023. I am here to do your daily tarot reading for today. I hope everybody is doing well. It's hump day. Uh, let's see what's going on today. Welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. I love you guys. I love when I see comments from you guys. I really do. Um, and I read all of them and I try to respond to all of them. Anyway, and welcome back to or welcome to anyone new. I hope you'll stick around. Cross watchers are always welcome. So let's see what's going on. Universe, guides, angels, and spirits. What is going on today with my collective? With my collective today, Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. What does my collective need to know? What does my collective need to know? Let's see what the overall energy is today. All right. Ace of Wands. Yes. New beginning. Moving quickly. I love this Ace of Wands on this deck. And this is after having to defend yourself, having to, you know, really fight for what you want. I feel like today is going to be one of those days where you're finally seeing the light at the end, end of the tunnel, so to speak. What else, please, for my collective? Ooh, we got this one. This is one that I want to take. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, you are guarding your space. You are defending your space. The Nine of Wands, he's holding the Ace of Wands, which to me, excuse me, is a confirmation right here. Wanting to move forward, wanting that new beginning, wanting that fresh step. Another card, please. Thank you. Balance, balance. My gosh, we have been talking about balance for how many days now? How many weeks now? Balance is so important. Today, I feel like that balance is finally coming into play. You guys are going to see things. You're going to know things. You're going to be comfortable. Because, you know, let's face it. Life isn't comfortable uh, many times, right? Often. So let's get some clarifiers for these cards here. Let's go with the biggie. The biggie. Why the Ace of Wands? What's going on here with the Ace of Wands spirit? Why the Ace of Wands? Let's see what's going on. Ace of Wands. Thank you. The world. The end of a cycle. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know, if you guys have been struggling, if you guys have been not knowing where you're going in life, not knowing where you're going in a situation, that's coming to an end. You will finally have the knowledge. You will finally have the insight as to what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to go with, you know, all of those things. Take them as they resonate. Give me another card, please, Spirit, for the Ace of Wands. Thank you. The Nine of Swords, something you've been stressed over. This stress is going away. It's going away. You are almost there. You know, the nine is close to 10, which then turns into one. So you're in your head a lot. I feel like that's not going to be an issue any longer. And one more card, please, for the Ace of Wands. Thank you. The Page of Swords. You did your homework. You learned what there was to learn, right? That there's information coming in today that's going to help you realize where you're moving, where you're going forward in, the, the issues, the areas, whatever that case may be for you guys. All right, let's clarify the Nine of Wands. What's going on with the Nine of Wands? Why are you so defensive or beat up? You're defending your space. You're defending your, um, you know, who you are. Why the Nine of Wands? Why the Nine of Wands? But you're holding that one wand. You're holding that ace, right? That one wand. So you're moving forward as beat up as you may be, people. You are moving forward. All right. So with the nine of wands, 
the Four of Swords, after healing the Seven of Wands, again, that defense mechanism, sticking up for yourself, uh, uh, setting boundaries, not allowing things to get in your way. And the Eight of Swords, not feeling stuck any longer, moving forward. This is beautiful. The Six of Pentacles, balance. We've been talking about this forever, guys, forever. Balance is so important in your life. And I feel like you have that clarity for that balance now. Look at that, the Queen of Swords. You guys have been, done the work. You've cut things out that don't serve you, you know, serve you for your highest good. You did the work. That work is, you know, you did it. You did it and you brought balance. You're bringing balance into your life. And the Five of Pentacles. So no, you won't be left out on, you know, in the cold. You won't be um, abandoned or anything because you love you. I just heard that. You love you. And that's so important. Finally seeing who you are as a person. Seeing, you know, what you can do. How you can move forward. Nothing is impossible. And we'll get one more card. One underneath the deck. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, come on. But let's get one more card. For the balance. One more card. Thank you. Wow, they really just want to... Look at this. Moving forward in victory. You did this, guys. You did this. That balance. That clarity. Right? It's finally coming to be. Underneath the deck. The King of Wands. Look at that fire. I feel like nothing is going to stop you today. Nothing. And if you've been bored in the past in a situation, I feel like you're going to be looking for a new situation. I feel like that mentality that you guys have today is super strong. It's that those thoughts that are coming in. This cycle, whatever's been holding you back, is, is done. It's done, people. What a beautiful reading. That's fantastic. All right. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? This may be it. Nope. That's it, guys. That's it. Again, under the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Doesn't get better than this. Listen, this balance that we've been longing for for so long, it's here. This cycle is ending. It's time to move forward. And you're doing that. And that's a beautiful thing. Keep setting boundaries, right? And you guys are going to go far. I feel it. I love, love, love you guys. Have a beautiful Wednesday. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.